Hey guys, Tom and Co. back again with some more FX Impact lovely craziness. <laughs> uh, just a reminder, you want to contact me, you got some questions, great. Go over to Air Gun Nation, post them there, I'll read them and I'll get right back to you. I've got one from J85 I'm going to answer here in a little bit. Also, just another reminder, don't call your retailers, these aren't in yet. So today I want to go over um, fine tuning the power wheel, which is there. Uh, regulator adjustment, grip swap, uh, what else? Does the cheek rest adjust? This cheek rest doesn't adjust. It's basically just bolted right on here. End of story. Uh, I'm going to try to get you a close weight, you know, approximate weight, barrel length, um, and go over a few other things. So let's get right to it. <laughs> All right, we're back. Um, we're going to go over grip swap. For those of you who shoot uh, AR-15 rifles, M4s, this is going to be uh, I walk in the park. Um, here's a standard uh, AR-15 grip. No big deal. I, I don't really like this one. It came off of something else. So uh, Inside the grip, way down deep in there. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. Way down deep in there is a 5mm uh, hex head bolt. So, just stick your Allen screw in there and unscrew. That's it. Just came off just like that. Uh, one thing I noticed was uh, the thread pitch is different. So this is what came out of there, and this is what came out of a normal AR-15. The thread pitch is different, so reuse this screw. Don't try to use something fresh. Um, or if you do want to replace this, you know, go get the right one. So uh, you can do it this way, but you're going to be chasing it for a while. So <laughs> st uh, take your bolt, stick it on your Allen key. This is when it actually helps to have a non wobble head key. All right, so I got my non non wobble head hex key. Uh, stick that, hold it with the uh, hex key, stick it through the hole, and off we go. Feels like I got it. Nice. Snug it up. You're done. Now I've got a different grip on my uh, FX Impact. Just that easy. So next thing I'm going to go over is barrel lengths and um, actually before I do that. All right, um, J85 from Air Gun Nation. Thanks for hitting me up with a question. Um, he wants to know, how's the feel of the rifle as far as fit and finish go? Well, the feel is fine. Um, I actually kind of dig the ergo grip, um, but it feels good. It shoulders, it shoulders well. Uh, again, you got this, this adjustment right here that you can make, but, but yeah, I mean, it, it just handles, it handles pretty nice. Okay, and um, also, well, fit and finish is kind of funny for me. You know, this was a prototype. So I've got little scars and marks and dings on it, which uh, I think add to the character. <laughs> uh, but how does it balance in my hands? Well, with the Atlas bipod on, your balance point is just in front of your trigger. So with that being said, when you pick it up, it feels pretty well balanced. It feels really solid too. I mean, this thing, it's got a little bit of weight to it, which I'm going to measure that here in, in just a minute. But uh, yeah, we'll take off the Atlas and see if our weight, our balance changes. Yep, now I'm right over the trigger. I moved back half inch, three quarter inch. But again, just nimble, light. I mean, granted, I don't have a, you know, 27 ounce scope on this or, you know, anything like that. But yeah, she handles good. 
it'll be real nice to walk in the woods. And uh, that's actually something I wanted to, to show you guys is uh, I'm five foot six and I got a 30 inch inseam. And the nice thing is you got this grip right here. So now I can walk and I can extend my arm and it's almost hitting the ground. So if I actually come, I think over here, you guys can see me. So here I am, standing up straight, and it's right there. Obviously, if I have my barrel shroud extended, that's going to be a bad deal over there, and I'll ding up the gun. But, like I said, I'm only, you know, I'm five foot six, I'm kind of on the short side. So I think for a lot of people who are going to own this gun, um, it's going to really hang real nice for walking in the woods, uh, if that's your thing, or... Just carrying it around. All right, guys. Next, one I'm going to do is measure the barrel length. And swinging behind me is a small little scale. I think uh, I think it's a fishing scale or something. But um, cheap little cheap little job. Just give you guys an idea of where we're standing at. Um, so let's go over barrel length. Uh, what I did was gently inserted this Allen key because I saw some spacers and such in there, and that's about where I'm at for uh, for the space. So you got about an inch and three quarter. Of it. I got a tape measure. Why don't I use it? Uh, about an inch and a half <laughs> uh, gap there between the end of the barrel and the end of the shroud. Now I can go right back here because the brass is right here. So that's telling me that I'm at 600 and approximately 15 millimeters which is 615 is 24 and 1 quarter inch. Uh, I did the same thing with this guy and this is the uh, 30 caliber and I had the 25 in here. And it looks like it looks like they're all the same. 24 and a quarter or 615 somewhere in that neighborhood. So now let's, let's wait. Rifle's on safe. Put her in the hook. All my bipods on here. Let me grab that off. Give you guys a little more accurate measurement. And I'm showing just over six pounds. Uh, last time I did this, it showed just under seven pounds. So it's not very accurate scale, but it, like I said, just gives you guys an idea of where we're at. So the next thing I'm going to do is shoot some strings over the chronograph. Um, you guys don't, I, I'm sure you don't want to watch that. Very boring stuff. I'll write some numbers down. I'm pretty much going to just max everything out and see if I can figure out where, how many shots per fill on max. Uh, there might be a few tweaks and adjustments that I could make to make it even to make that shot count go down even further. But um, you know, like I said, we're exploring this together. So if you got some ideas, let me let me have them. Uh, I'm going to put the regulator at 150, and I'm going to max out my hammer spring. There we go. Max out my hammer spring, and that's it. I'm not going to fine tune it to super max. Um, like I said, that's a fine tune anyway. Uh, so that's it for really today. Um, I'm going to post those results uh, on Airgun Nation. And keep the questions coming, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy shooting. Hey, guys, one more thing real quick. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout-out to some of the, some of the fans <laughs> over there on, uh, on Airgun Nation. Um, travels for fun. I met you down at EBR. It was, it was awesome to meet you and talk to you. Uh, that was that was just you know one of the highlights of my trip down there. Mark 404. Apparently we met. Uh, sorry, man. I met so many people down there. I I, I couldn't I couldn't remember half of your names, if not less. <laughs> Manabi knives. Thanks for checking in, man. Ace behind the trigger. Astro man. It's awesome to meet you and talk to you. I love watching your videos. Keep up the good work. Uh, another guy I got to meet down there at EBR was Michael, the owner of the forum. Um, it was tremendous talking to him, and, and 
and seeing, you know, talking about the forum, seeing where we're going and such like that. And yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Get your t-shirt, guys. <laughs> No, I'm loving the forum, man. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, the positive flow of this forum is just really, really great. And I don't care if it's a shameless plug. <laughs> Guys, that's going to be it for me. Till next time. Happy shooting. That's it for me. Happy shooting. <laughs>